Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to do the screen pumping effect in Sony Vegas. You can also do this in After Effects, but I will show you how to do this in Vegas. Uh, yeah, I already split the clip right where he shot, but yeah, it's not about syncing and other stuff. It's just about the screen pumping and maybe how to add some flashes to the beat uh, and the pumping. Yeah, so ba basically. It's just a bit of keyframing the pan and crop, uh, like uh, you will see that in a second. Yeah, I prepared this song. Uh, I will put the link in the description, and let me just add some slow motion to the clip. So, uh, yeah, th this uh, song is pretty easy to, uh, yeah, to find the right spots for the pumping because yeah, you can actually see them pretty nice here. So yeah, at the very first frame, uh, yeah, you can add markers to the single sinking points, but I don't really think I will have to do this. But uh, because yeah, you can obviously see them here, and yeah, I think I will add a bit less slow motion so uh, yeah basically you go to the pan crop t uh, crop tool in Sony Vegas then go to the very first frame you can zoom in in your timeline make sure that this sync cursor is ticked if you have Sony Vegas 10 and then go to the frame where you where the first beat is and then drag this in a bit and you can also add some rotation if you want to but you don't have to do that. Then go to just before the seconds, uh, yeah, keyframe thing, marker, and then drag this back to normal. You can hold shift while rotating and scaling this so that you can find the spot easier. And then go to the spot where you want the pumping again and do the same thing again. Then go to the next marker and then you can just select these three keyframes. Press Control C, go to the yeah this to the next uh, beat and press Control V, and then that should be normal again. So let me drag this out again. Okay, let me just preview this. Looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, the next, yeah, you could always make this zoom in more. And yeah, but another thing I will do now to make this look better, I will add some color curves and keyframe them. You can also do this with brightness and contrast, that's a bit easier, but. I think color curves look much better. So drag that onto your clip. Go to animate. Go to the very first frame. Go to animate and then go to the beat again. Uh, channel RGB. Double click on the middle and drag this up. Maybe here you can zoom in a bit in this thing here so that you can see more. And maybe add some more blue to the flash bit less red so that this or even more red I know whatever you prefer then go to the uh, yeah spot where the with the next beat go to channel RGB again oh no this time you have to do this manually when something like this is fucked up just drag this back go to the green channel drag it back again go to the blue channel drag it back again and then you can just yeah select these keyframes again. Press Ctrl C, or right click and copy. Then zoom a bit out. Go to the next beat and press Ctrl V, or right click paste. And go to the next beat again. Right click paste or Ctrl V, and maybe I, I will let this fade out a bit more. And let me preview this again. Uh, 
that's basically it. Um, yeah, if you want, uh, yeah, you can just continue doing this with all the other beats, but I won't do this in the, the, the tutorial because that will take too long. Yeah, uh, please like the video and also check out my other tutorials on my channel. And yeah, please also the 3D motion tracking and the masking tutorial. And please like them because I really want them to get a bit more views. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like the video and bye.